I have neural control over both my blood pressure and the direction of blood flow. There are chemoreceptors measuring hydrogen ions or acid and carbon dioxide and oxygen inside certain blood vessels. Also, there are pressure receptors known as baroreceptors. And these receptors send information to the cardiovascular center of my brain in my medulla oblongata. And this then affects cardiac output and the degree of smooth muscle contraction in blood vessel linings. This vasoconstriction or vasodilation not only controls blood pressure, but also directs blood flow. Because I am at rest, I am directing more blood to my digestive, urinary, immune and reproductive systems, and not so much to my muscular system. I am also exhibiting neural control over my blood pressure and the direction of blood flow. My cardiovascular center includes a cardio accelerator area, which can send information to the SA node and AV node and speed up heart rate. It can increase contractibility of the heart. And my vasomotor area can not only send messages to the smooth muscle and blood vessel linings, which will increase blood pressure overall, but also I can preferentially direct blood flow to muscles, and I can drastically cut the blood flow to other organs which aren't going to help me in exercise, such as the digestive, urinary, reproductive, and immune structures.